PDA for Pete.com. Okay, here is another PDA for Pete.com video presentation. Today we are going to talk about SHOT 2009, a vaccine PDA application available from the Society of Teachers of Family Medicine, the group on immunization education. There is two versions of the software, one compatible with the Palm OS and another compatible with the Pocket PC OS. The example I'm going to show you here is the Windows Mobile Pocket PC OS. Uh, after copying the installation folder to your device, navigate to, the, to where you have placed the installation folder, in this case to My Documents, and the installation folder is called SHOT2009. In that, inside that folder, you can see that there are three installation files. Um, the first and third installation files are actually runtime environment to make the application work. You don't need to tap on these if you already have the 2008 version. If you don't, then you have to tap on all these installation files to get the program running. Okay, so now let's go and see how the application looks like. You can see that on the left-hand side, there is a list of the individual vaccines, and there is a table which looks like the ACIP scheduling table, which we are all familiar with, with the similar color codes. And it's a very nice single user interface that we can have access to all the information that you want. Lower down, there are tabs for children, for adolescents, for adults, and a special section for risk groups. For example, if we tap here on the HIV column, we can see a special notes about vaccination in the immunodeficient patients. There is also a catch-up tab, and within the catch-up tab, there's, there are two sub-tabs, one for age group four months to six years, and another for age group seven years to 18 years. A very nice single-page user interface. On the scheduling table, there are stars and boxes that are actually tappable. And all of these represent special notes regarding the specific vaccine. So, for example, if we tap here on the hepatitis B vaccine at age four months, a special note will pop up telling us that we can give hepatitis B vaccine at age four months if it has already been given in combination with other vaccines. There's another tab here for the rotavirus vaccine. This is actually a new 2009 recommendation telling us that if we have used Rotatrix, uh, we can skip the six-month dose. There's another one here, another one here. These are all notes, special notes regarding each individual vaccine. In the catch-up tab, also there are special notes. For example, this one here, all representing special circumstances for catch-up scheduling. Another one here. And there is a new 2009 recommendation regarding the HPV vaccine. is also included in the latest SHOTS 2009. Now, if we tap on the individual vaccines on the left-hand side, we can see some detailed information regarding each individual vaccine. For example, here the MMR, there is a basic section, another section for high-risk indications, and sections for contraindications for catch-up scheduling, how to administer risk communication, and even a special section for pictures. Uh, these are pictures of the diseases that are caused by that, that can be prevented by that vaccine, measles, mumps, rubella. Actually, these are, very, these are very useful because we can show these pictures to the parent in case they refuse to give the, that specific vaccine. There's a shots menu also, in which there is a key explaining the color codes, a disclaimer page also, and a list of references. 
In the list of references, we can see that the application is approved by the ACIP, by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Uh, there is a URL here, but unfortunately, it's not, it's not a live link to the website. And we wish to see a live link to this website. This comes very important if we go to the reporting section, because in the reporting section, there is another link to the vaccine adverse event reporting system, but there is no live link. It would have been very useful if we have a live link to this website so that we can report the adverse event as we see it on the bedside. Bottom line, this is a very nice free application, a very simple to use user interface uh, with a few taps. You can get to the information that you want. And uh, by the way, there is exactly similar application from Skyscape, but it's not for free. They sell it for $15. Don't buy it. You can just download the free shots application. Just follow the link available in the relevant PDA for Beats web pages.